Hello friends, welcome to machine learning. In this part, we'll be looking at an important news case of machine learning in cyber security technology and that is anti-malware. So we'll be building an anti-malware solution using machine learning and that is based on the classification model which we have learned. So our aim would be to identify whether a given binary is malicious or legitimate and that will be done using a data set which consists of number of entries of executables and its properties. These entries will be comprising of malwares as well as the legitimate files. As you can know, there will be malware everywhere. So organizations do implement various kinds of security features such as IDS, IPS or anti-malware or antivirus solutions. But most of the modern day security products uses machine learning to detect those malwares. And that is what we are going to do here. So the traditional EVs works on antivirus or the anti-malware solution works on the signatures. The polymorphic malware do bypass this very easily. And the malware detection is actually a classification problem. Machine learning learns the data set and then based on its learning, it predicts whether it is a malware or not a malware. So based on the machine learning performance, yes, you need to supply more and more latest data set to improve the machine learning model performance. Now look at the various steps which are involved. The first step is feature extraction from the binaries. A PE file or a PE portable executable file consists of various parameters and we can extract all those parameters using a PE file which has already been done and this is the data set. So this consists of n number of entries which consist of malware as well as the legitimate files and this is the PE parameter over here. All those PE parameters and there is a single entry at the end which is legitimate. So if a file is legitimate, it will be one. So as you can see over here, it will be one. And if file is not legitimate, it will be zero. So the legitimate is our dependent variable and all others are the independent variable. So the second step is feature selection to identify independent variables which will be relevant. Now the dependent variable is legitimate and based on all these parameters we need to select some parameters which will be actually relevant in predicting whether the file is legitimate or not. The third step is selection of classification machine learning model which we want to use or which we, or we can use uh, two or more classification models as well. And at the last step we'll just run this file which will extract the parameters there is a python file and that will predict the outcome. Or the output whether the file is or whether the file is malicious or not so let's start let's use anaconda and that's done so let's quickly go to our file as you can see so this is there are these files over here and we'll go to let let's look at our file over here so this has already been uh, settled or created by me and this is the python file through which we will train our machine learning model. So we first import the libraries and this nothing new so it's already which we have seen in our classification machine learning model. So the second step involves importing the data set. So the matrix of features will be everything except name MD5 and legitimate and our vector of dependent variables will be legitimate. Then the steps as you can see over here, the feature extraction is done, the feature selection to identify the relevant independent variables and that is done using trees classifier. So there is already a classifier which is known as extra tree classifier which is used to identify which all features are important or relevant and that has been implemented over here and based on this we have a new matrix of features x underscore new and then the next step is splitting the data set into training set and test set and we have known this for a long time we know this step from our data preprocessing part the next part is the features which are there. So after running this extra tree classifier model, we'll actually extract which all features are important and we'll actually have this taken care by the help of the feature order as well, 
will actually list them so that is what it is all these are listing of those features along with its importance and now algorithms so we'll be using two algorithms classification decision tree and random forest so this is the arguments which are supplied to decision tree and random forest classification models and the next step is fitting the classification model to training set and this is just a for loop because we have taken two algorithms over here if we have just taken the random forest we'll just write a single a classifier object this is clf is equals to algorithms because you have taken the two or else just like a random forest normal classification model we'll just have that classification model written and we'll just fit it with respect to our training set and we'll also use a score method over here to predict the score with respect to the test set and the next step is winner of decision tree or random forest which will be the winner based on the score now the next step is saving the algorithms and the feature list for the later predictions because this is required so why is this required because the python file which you have stated or on a python file which will extract the parameters from exe and predict the outcome this will take this classifier.pk1 and features.pk1 file over here so we'll just save this configuration or save this files into a folder which is classifier folder and our new python file will automatically take these two files over here which are the files by which our uh, machine learning model has learned and is the configuration files and based on that it will predict whether the file is malicious or not so we'll just save the algorithm and the feature list for later predictions and there's also a widespread and the confusion matrix so this is what is the entire learning.py and we'll quickly just run it into a spider console so let's use python and let's open a spider console we'll wait for it it will take some time and spider is ready over here let's so we have just imported that file into spider and quickly let's execute this entire file over here so that will be fun oh shit so we have not set our working directory so we'll set it to this and again Let's quickly run this and beautiful. So this is the various features along with its percentage which is important in predicting the result whether the file is legitimate or not and as you can see random forest is 99.47% accurate and decision tree is 99.14%. So winner is random forest. So that is our learning.py file which we have seen and also you can see in our variable explorer the various the confusion matrix as well as you can see over here. So this is the incorrect predictions and the ratio of correct predictions is quite high that's why there is a 99% accuracy over there. So that is what it is in our learning pie and let's move on to the next step which will be the last step just run a python file which will extract the parameters and predict the outcome so this is that file just open it in notepad plus plus and this is the file which will extract feature from a file which will be your input file which will be provided and after extracting all those features from a file which will be a pe file after extracting all those features like the parameters which you have already stated the machine learning model will learn on itself based on this learning set which you have provided and it will predict whether the file is malicious or not so this is the entire algorithm over here so we'll quickly go on to the main function because others are just extractions so we'll go on to the main function and in the main function 
will have an argument of the file to be tested the loading classifier files which you already stated there will be a folder which will be created over here which will be the classifier folder which will consist of these two files and over here those files are being loaded it's classifier.pk1 and features.pk1 and after loading all those features we'll use data is equals to extract the info from the file which has been inputted and the PE features are extracted and it has been provided now at the end there will be a predict function which will be used and that will be used to predict whether the file is malicious or legitimate so let's do that so let's use this so let's quickly navigate to a folder which will be desktop anti malware and now let's learn first of all learning file so this will be our python learning file and it is taking the important features over here these are the important features along with its order now it's testing the algorithms over here and as you can see it has taken the random forest as a greater success algorithm here the results are different because there is no random state the every time we'll be running the results will be quite different now next step is just running your python dot check file and what about here yeah, the check pe file what will be the input so we'll first input a notepad file the file is legitimate let's input a metasploit file the file is malicious one more step let's have some other file over here iso burner so even this file is malicious so as you can see this machine learning is learning in itself and this python file has extracted the features from this notepad.exe it has used the configuration files which we had saved in a classifier folder and it has predicted whether the file is malicious or not so this is the anti malware solution which we have built using our machine learning model so what have we done we have just taken a python file or a machine learning model where we have taken a decision tree or a random forest classifier you can take any one of them if you want you can take just a decision tree or a random forest the steps are the same which we have done in our random forest classification models and after a model has been properly trained we have just used a file which will just extract the features from a input file which you have provided over here it will extract the features and based on the configurations which are classifier.pk1 and features.pk1 it will predict whether the file is malicious or not so great so we have finally achieved our anti malware solution using machine learning so that's it so all the python scripts and data set for each parts are available at my github account hope you are enjoying the video series thank you very much bye bye